We have new surroundings today. But try to make sure that your mind stays the same. As the John say, this is what it really means to have your mind unified. That when things outside change for the better, the mind stays the same. When the things change for the worse, the mind stays the same. Because it realizes that its true happiness comes from within. As for things outside, we try to take them as examples. Like we think about how this building was completed. It required the cooperation of a lot of people, determined to make it work. There are all kinds of obstacles in the, in the way, but we were able to go get past them because of our determination. And so if we were grateful for their work, of course, what's the best way to show your gratitude, but is, aside from doing the practice with even more sincerity, with even more determination, there's no other way to show, really show your gratitude for something like this. So make sure that your mind stays set on what it needs to do. It still has its greed, aversion, and delusion. It's a sign something needs to be done. There's work to be done. Now that we have more convenient circumstances, it's easy to get complacent. But instead, we should use the more convenient circumstances so that we can focus more time and energy on our practice. And also take encouragement. All these people were willing to give all this money, put in all this time, use all this energy to build this place so that we could practice. So take that as encouragement. We think of the cooperation that was needed. Well, look inside your mind. Make sure that all the different parts of your mind are cooperating with the practice. We think of the determination, and it's the same way. There are going to be obstacles in the practice. So, and some people, they meet an obstacle and they just give up. And John Lee's example is of someone digging down into the ground, and they hit a rock. And there may be gold under the rock, but just because the rock is in the way, they give up. It's the person who digs further, tries to get around the obstacle. That's the person who really will find the gold. So take the sala as a lesson. This is what can be accomplished by cooperation. This can be what can be accomplished by determination. Take that lesson and bring it inside. And that we will benefit from the fact that we now have more convenient much nicer surroundings. All too often in monasteries where things get convenient and nice like this, people get lazy. So make sure that that doesn't happen. Instead, take it as an encouragement to be even more determined in the practice and to get all the different parts of your mind to cooperate. Because this is where true well-being lies, when the mind works together for its own true well-being. without any parts heading off in other directions. When we work together, a lot can be accomplished. Think about threat. An individual threat can't do much. But if you weave thread into a cloth, you can do lots of things with the cloth. So when people work together and we cooperate, lots can be accomplished. When the different factions of your mind cooperate, a lot can be accomplished. So take this building as a lesson.